In this video, I want to talk about the books that I read when I want to relax or if I need to turn to for a little help. As you full well know, YouTube is a great resource for learning anything that you want to learn. It doesn't matter whether it's photography or it's cooking. But sometimes I don't have access to YouTube. I might be in my bed. I don't want to watch it on my phone. And sometimes I just want to read a good book just to have the relaxation of reading a good book. Now, I'm not a big reader, so I don't have many books. But the books I do have are fantastic for macro photographers and for anyone who wants to learn how to edit images in Photoshop. Let's start with the first one. And the first one is obviously going to be the holy grail of macro photography books. This one is Macro Photography, The Universe at Our Feet from Don Komarechka. Anything that is not in the book isn't worth learning, I'll be honest with you. This has everything you could possibly want to know about macro photography. So we're looking at basic techniques all the way through to ultraviolet macro and high magnification macro. That's something I haven't really delved too much into yet on the channel. Don is famous for his snowflake photography, so obviously that's going to be in here. Water drop photography. There is so much in here that is absolutely packed full to the brim, and I cannot recommend this book enough. I have the leather bound limited edition version of this book, but you can get the standard version, and I will leave a link in the description for you to get this book. So long as he hasn't sold out. Now, unfortunately, if he has, he has recently moved, if you can't get it from his website. Then you're going to have to hunt it down second hand on eBay or on Amazon. Now this is the book that you often see in the background over there. So this has a, uh, a pride placement on my shelf behind me. So yeah, that is The Universe at Our Feet from Don Komarechka. The second book that I sometimes refer to is Digital Macro and Close-Up Photography from Ross Hodinot. And this is one of the first books I bought when I first started the channel. And it is an absolutely fantastic book. It's great for beginners and experienced photographers alike. And it is filled with some fantastic images. And what I like about um, this book is, again, it doesn't matter your level. You can just jump in and start doing photography. Read through the basics. It goes through some of the basic equipment. Such as here, it's got about sensor sizes, which is quite important to macro. That's something we're going to be talking about in the spring, is sensor sizes. You know, there's, there's a lot in here. Exposure, histograms. So yeah, I can recommend that. And I do believe there is a new updated version of this book now, and it's available from Amazon. Again, the link is in the description. So when it comes to my macro photography, there's two sides of it. You've got the photography side, and then you've got the retouching side. A lot of my images are heavily retouched. I'll remove um, grain and dirt. Sometimes I'll even clone areas that where maybe an insect's got a damaged eye or something like that. A lot of the backgrounds I sometimes change up in Photoshop. I might extend them or decrease the size of the background. So that is something that I learned from YouTube and I learned it from portrait retouching. The same with lighting. I learned my lighting from doing portraiture. So I have three books here that I can highly recommend. These are from Glyn Dewis. The first one is the Photoshop Workbook. Um, I have it signed, by the way. I uh, got Glyn to sign it at the photography show, which is uh, fantastic. It's great to always have your book signed. And this goes through a lot of techniques for portraiture, except you can adapt it to macro photography such as frequency separation which is used a lot for retouching the skin on a model you can use that for retouching your macro photographies particularly if you're uh, retouching an area where it's got a lot of texture comes in very handy so sometimes i will refer to these books or i'll just read through them to get some inspiration if you are learning macro don't limit yourself to searching macro photography tutorials if you're looking at doing retouching and have a look at portraiture. That's the first one. Now the second book, and this one is a big one in my eyes, and that is Photograph Like a Thief. Again, this is from Glyn Dewis. And basically, 
what it is is it, it's teaching you how to use imagination and inspiration to create your own images so he'll take you through deconstructing uh, an image in order to learn how it was taken how the lighting was used and then recreate that image in your own mind or in your own way and this is how i learned how to photograph jumping spiders i took the advice from this book of deconstructing images and I took a look at uh, Thomas Shahan's images of jumping spiders and then deconstructed it. How was it photographed? How is the lighting? How are the reflections? What type of diffuser is he using to get those really nice jumping spider eyes? And deconstructed it and then redid it on my own work. So that, I can highly recommend this book if you want to have a good read on how to take inspiration from other photographers. The next one up is when I get stuck in Photoshop and I haven't got access to YouTube or anything. And that is the Photoshop Toolbox. This again is from Glyn Dewis. And again, it is signed. That this one's a special one because it's signed by Dave who created the cover artwork, which is fantastic. And again, this takes you through being able to edit images in Photoshop, all different types of techniques. You're looking at things like layer masks, brushes, blend modes, looking at content aware fill match color glenn has forgotten more about photoshop than i will ever learn so it's always a great um book to turn to if i am stuck anything and for that matter glenn also has a youtube channel i'll link that in the description as well if you want to take a look at that so those are five books that i regularly turn to if i get stuck or i want a little bit of inspiration let me know if you have any of these books or you're intending on buying these books. Again, links are in the description. Well, that's where I shall leave it. My name's Stuart Wood, and again, I'll see you on the next video. In this video, I want to talk about the books I read when I... No. And Don is famous for... for, for I have the limited edition... And then you've got the retouching side. And a lot of my...